What is going on guys, DBG here, and this is another episode of the No Money Spent Squad. So lads, in this episode we are going to be prepping and we are going to be talking about the new stuff in NBA 2K20, my team is coming tomorrow, and just how I am prepping for it, honestly. Please be a goal, please be a goal, please be a goal, please be a goal, let's go. Give me Moses Brown. Apply to Mellow. I've only got one contract left on Mellow. Why would I send a contract to my auctions? Either way, it doesn't matter too much. So basically, this is the team anyway we have right now. So, add a player, um, apply contracts. I'm pretty sure it's a bronze one that we're finished with. There we go. And we can get that out of our auction. So in terms of our auction outcomes, I'm just going to wait to see what what the, um, the limited weekend is going to be. I'm just going to wait to see for that one. So we've got Jalen Brown, who has now gone super cheap, which is very, very annoying. It's going to be a week for Sapphire cards. I'm telling you. Or not for Sapphire, for Celtics cards. It's going to be a week for them. Like initially, I was like, you know what? I can sell Jalen Brown for a lot. And if people watched my video yesterday and Jalen Brown just didn't sell. Which uh, which happens sometimes. So we're sitting on 336k. We sold the um, Maladon for 2300. Um, what, what went unsold? Did these all go? These were all 250, weren't they? Yeah. So let's get our 150 there. And let's get our 25 coins for that. Worth absolutely F all right there. Okay, now we're going to go and sell our Alex English. Alex English is the XP done for him, isn't it? So, where is the current series? Signature series two blocks, so four more blocks, signature series two players. And that's it, really. That's it, four more blocks, and all these are done anyway. So I can't complain. 30,000, 30, and I haven't touched domination yet. We are prime time. Okay, so Alex English has not made the free throws yet. I'm just going to do that during Dom. I'm just going to do that once during Dom, and obviously, not never going to do Pistol Pete. Week three, part one. Ironically, we've we've done the we've done the easy one. Or week one part two, sorry. Week one part three at least gives us a draft token, I guess. We own three Dunktober players. Like the draft tokens are just the most pointless things ever. Yeah, we own five Dunktober players. Like, what's the point of playing draft like of doing draft tokens when you can't even find games in draft anymore? But um yeah, so. Let's take a look at our collection premium. It didn't really safe, I think. Depending who's safe and who's not safe. I was about to say, I was like, on my team, literally, it's Dinwiddie and Suggs and everybody else is, under, is at Miles, and I think those three are safe. So. Moses Brown for the Dallas Mavericks. Hey, more people are buying these packs, so... We're going to have to sell them for like 1800 I'm not even that opposed to that, to be honest. Please tell me Vith Kredgy's back to a normal price. There we go. People aren't paying 20k for that dude anymore. Hey, that was ludicrous, like. That was absolutely ludicrous. So, um, let's go and put him, Moses Brown, up for like 2k. Margaret's in a bit of a bit of a bad spot, a bad old spot at the minute. So, um, and we put him up for like 1750 there we go. He's actually one of the cheaper goals. Golds are starting to become less and less rare. Because I think, again, people are buying the cheap packs. More people are starting to buy the cheap packs. So, let's see what I have. Do I have any in my collection that I need to sell? Tobias Harris. I like, I freaking like Tobias Harris, though. So, I see. Is, does, is he going to go up in price? That's the question. In price, you know. I don't know. I don't think so. He's a steal though, and I really like the card. I think at 30k, I'm gonna keep him for now. I'll see what AK is going for tomorrow, and I might sell him like Monday or Tuesday next week. I might sell him once he's out of packs. Like I'll sell him probably once he's out of packs before super packs. But like. He's in. He's definitely in the squad here with Darius Miles. I thought I'd sold him back, but obviously, I had not. So, where is he? Okay, 
Is he? Have I missed him somewhere? My collection. Or did I send my auctions already? Okay, I've sent Tobias Harris to my auctions already. I'm gonna keep a hold of him because like a cake is probably gonna be better tomorrow. A cake is gonna be more expensive. And I think that maybe Tobias holds his value. I think that as like a, a budget Carmelo Anthony, he does hold his value. I think he works in this team. This doesn't really work for me. I don't I don't know if I need him. I'll try him and I'll play a game of TTR right now and just see how I find him. Okay, what game are we on right now? We are on game number... Okay, we're in the middle board. So basically, we're in one of those stages where we need to win, otherwise we're not getting anything. So, point guard. Is he 6'8 or 6'9? Six, 6'9, nine? Six, nine, perfect. Um, small forwards, Mello get in and... Miles? I'm giving Miles a run out, I guess. Tobias Harris is coming in for good old um, Chris Mullen. He's coming in for Mullen. But it's weird. Like, I have no idea exactly what I'm going to be doing with these Halloween packs. Like, I think... I'm looking, and I'm like... The only card that I can really see myself using is AK. And that's only if AK is cheap. Because, like, if AK is super expensive... 99 three-pointer on Steph... All right. All right, who needs a 99 three-pointer when I can just spin? Oh, should have been me. Steal. Uh, blitz. Oh, we got screwed. I can give, I'll give the two there. I'll give the two. He literally spent about 20 seconds just doing nothing there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, oh, gotcha. Gotcha. You got blessed right there. You got absolutely blessed that animation. Steph Curry's getting caught in the pick and roll. Easy dunk. Let's go. Like, you better be scoring. If you're using Steph on me, you better be scoring every single possession with him. Otherwise, I'm going to abuse Steph. Like, people can score every possession on him. That's the thing with Steph. So, I'm, like, I'm not going to say Steph's a bad card. I have played against a lot of people that I've just abused Steph online. That's a tough look, and he knocks it down. I should have been in that lane. Yeah, like, I'm going to score on most possessions here. Like, even doing that will probably work most of the time. Just getting a speed burst right in front of him. Steal. Um, we're kind of screwed. We're there. Okay, in the paint. How is that not my steal? I was in the lane, and I pressed square, and he put his hands out and just missed the ball. Why did you both leave Kobe? Why did both players there go to Blake? And now just like that, we're two possessions down because they start with the ball. Two possession game. Like, at least we're getting that burst right there. And Melo gets some really cool bursts in this game. Please, just, and let me get one steal as well. Like, you are throwing the ball near my players every possession. Like, I just want one steal. That's actually a dot. I didn't even, I didn't press anything there. Oh my god, you finally green. Good shot. That's just bad defense by me. That's bad defense by me. And again, you're scoring a three on every possession, so. How did that not go out of bounds? Why are you celebrating, Carmelo Anthony? You didn't score. You are I've never seen a player celebrate a miss before in this game. That's really good defense. And they make the match. They make the layup inside. I'm sorry. Carmelo Anthony literally got swatted. And instead of going back on defense, celebrated a miss. I'm sorry, like, you're not 12 years old anymore. It's no longer an accomplishment grabbing the rim when you're t uh, attempting a noisy layup. Like, grabbing the rim is no longer an accomplishment, Carmelo Anthony. I'm getting torched right here. Oh, my God. This dude has also hasn't missed, so. There is literally... He's hit a three-pointer so often, so there's literally nothing I could do to win this game. Good shot. There we go. Up to Toby. There's nothing more I could be doing. A couple of decent animations, but this guy hasn't missed, so we got to give credit there. Like, he's basically conceding on every possession. But it doesn't matter because he's scoring a three on every possession as well. Why did I switch glitch him there? Green that, come on. Bad release, but it doesn't matter. That's a green animation. 
Come on, we've, we've hit two wides in a row. Oh yeah, it's a do metal. Or a do Tobias Harris, not metal. Run, 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 run. We threw it right into his hands. No, we didn't. And we shot the 5%. Big board. Okay. He just dropped the ball. It's our steal. Good. Good, Toby. Green. That is the fastest release I've ever seen. I've never shot a release that fast in my life. I don't know what happened there. Come on. It's your turn to green. Or miss again. Okay, I'm just shooting whites. I don't deserve to win this. Like, I literally have not... I've not greened in this game. Like, I have my chances. I have my chances to come back, but, like, if you're not going to green a single shot, like, you don't deserve to win a game. Like, I'll stand by that. Like, like I'm cool with, with the whole... Normally, I'm good with, like, open shots. And I'm one of those guys being like, you know what? If you give up open shots, you deserve to lose, even if they're whiting. But, like, for me, I don't feel... I don't feel like I deserve to win when I white... When I don't green for an entire game. And also, I shot more... Like, I've shot more very early than greens. Like, that is just a... That is not something I'm proud of, but it's a literal fact that I've shot more very early in this game than greens. And we... We green the most difficult shot of the game. The most difficult shot we've taken in the game, we greened. The only contested shot that we've taken. Good steal. <laughs> this game. This game. Oh, my God. Grab the ball. Thank you. Green that. Come on. Give me the white. Give me the white right there. And suddenly, we're tied. What the hell is this game, though? How do we not get a steal on that session? Oh, hand up on that. That's an open, and he blew it. He blew it. He blew it. He's not guarding that. Fade. Give me the white. I got take. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. You got out. You got absolutely screwed. <laughs> I'm sorry. How the hell did we win that game? I mean, I don't deserve it. I deserve one token, 150, one token here. And we get one of the exchange things that I have not seen yet. These are next to impossible to hit as well. But like these are next to impossible to get enough of them to do anything with them. I think I've seen I've seen DFS get five of these. I've not seen anyone else get five of them. And that's our first one of these 100 consumable packs. We can land in both corners. We're actually doing all right. You know what we did? We landed in both corners there. We're two of five. We are two of five right here. It's just a pity that I haven't seen Paul Silas or landed in both corners when I've a lot of the time when I see the actual cards. Okay, who sold? What was the brown sold straight away? I'll take that. Anything interesting in the unopens, actually? If anything interesting, because the only card that I really want to buy, the only card that I really actually want is tomorrow. Like, Kevin Durant is that dude. But the guy that like I know for a fact I'm going to want is AK, and he's just going to be so freaking expensive. Like, he's going to come into my team. What? My game crashed opening a pack. Are we actually closing up on that? Did my game actually crash in a pack? Oh, 2K. I literally, I flipped over the card and my game crashed. That just sums it all up. That just sums up this game. This is That is this game in a nutshell. That is NBA 2K22 in a nutshell. I open a pack and my game breaks. I wonder what way I'm going to be going back into it. Like right here. Is it going to is it gonna make me open a pack or do I just have the card? Collection. Players. Amethyst. Is he there? Yeah, there's Joe Barry Carl. Okay, come on. Anything else? No, we've gotten so many packs over the last few days. Okay. Um, we got a Dunktober pack, which is interesting. We've also got Danny Ainge. I heard Danny Ainge is pretty decent. Like, a lot of people are high on Danny Ainge. I've never used him. Like, this is the type of XP that I just do at the end of the season. Because, like, you can do it whenever. And it's not a situation where it's, like... The cards are there. The cards aren't going to get cheaper or more expensive or whatever throughout the year. Okay, so we got it from the Ascension yesterday. Come on. Come on. Give me somebody that sells. DeJounte. 
I don't think he sells. As far as I'm aware, the emeralds are all cheap. When it comes to series ones, the emeralds are all cheap because the emeralds are basically low. So you can pull in the highest packs and you pull an emerald in like 50% of packs. DeAndre Ayton and DeJounte. I mean, if these guys are 1,500, I'll sell both of them because I'm never going to use either of them. I'm never going to use either of these guys. Like At least with Booker, like I might use them. Unreal. Unreal. Someone price fixed them. Do I try profit? I think I might. No, I think I might. I think I might actually be able to do this. It worked yesterday with Charlie Ward. I think this might have been someone buying them off for 400 and just doing something like dumb like I'm doing. Like, this can't be that smart an idea. I'm going to put these up for like 1200 and like if I sell three, if I sell two of them for twelve hundred or three of them for twelve hundred, I'll profit. Just then again for an experiment for tomorrow. Um, we've got, I mean, we've got our own DeAndre Ayton as well. So twelve hours for thirteen fifty, smoke screen. Four hours, eleven fifty. There we go. I should work for DeAndre Ayton. Um, my collection. Premium. Or say, there we go. And he is here. Just send him straight to the auctions. I thought when I was scrolling for a while, I was like, you know what? He's been price fixed. I was like, he's been price fixed. He's actually going to be a good price, but nah. Nah. It was too good to be true. 1050, not selling. Um, surely DeJounte is going to have another good game in real life and get a moment's challenge. Screw it. Spurs card. Like, I'm not selling for under a thousand yet. There'll be a stage where these cards are worth over a thousand. So who else is there in my auctions? Do any of these sell for anything? Is there any reason to keep Alex hold on to Alex English? Oh sorry, I need to hold on to Alex English. I haven't done his XP yet. Let's send him to the old collect. Okay, so no, I've got to dupe Alex English. I don't have a dupe Alex English. Okay, so we got our promo packs here anyway. And our promo packs. I literally in these promo packs just want Wiggins or Jamal Murray. I haven't gotten any of these this year. I don't want Darren Williams. Nobody wants this Darren Williams. And like that's the one thing I don't like about 2K, where it's like these promo packs, and it's the reason why I'm kind of happier to give like a bunch of start here. Like you literally can't get any card that wasn't in the game day one in promo packs. And they're literally just base set cards. I don't get it. Like, in FIFA, you can, like, you can buy, your packs have all the new cards. Like, the promo packs should be updated. They should have, like, like, why are they expecting people to consistently up buy promo packs? Like, pre-order bonuses for the promo packs. Like, again, like, like, I got this version of the game for free. I didn't pay for it. But, like, why the hell would you pay for promo packs that are literally useless? The only thing that was good was that when you got the 10-pack box of the guaranteed, um, Amethyst on day one. And I didn't even get that in this account. Um, okay. Can I send it to my auctions? No. Add to the exchange. Wait a minute. I put one of these into the exchange. Like, if does that disappear? If that disappears, I'm going to be very, very annoyed. I will be very, very annoyed if that disappears. Okay, we've got one more pack that we can open here. It's dunked over. Um. Okay. This could be Josh Smith. Or... It could be Jamal Mashburn's regular card. Oh, you got me so hyped up, 2K. You got me so hyped. I didn't even know who it was. 
when I um, when I didn't know who a card was, I got even more hyped as soon as I saw Jamal Mashburn because I knew Dennis Schroeder is bad. I was like, as, as long as it's not Dennis Schroeder, it's fine. Then I was like, oh, okay. You know what? It's a free pack. And what price is he? Five nine hundred. Screw it. I'll take my four and a half k. I guess. I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna sell. I think I'm gonna sell um as much as I love. I'm gonna play one more game with him. I think I'm gonna sell though. Tobias. No, sell Tobias, I'm suddenly at like 367k, which means that I'm still over 300k even if I buy uh, AK tomorrow. Well, I'm not gonna buy AK tomorrow, even if I buy AK on like Monday when he's at his or whenever AK ends up at his lowest pre prior to super packs. And I'm obviously gonna sell before super packs. Like we do every season, because I think I'm not quite sure if um Tobias Harris. Like I'm not quite sure if Tobias Harris makes my 250 squad. Like as of as of today, he would. If I was run if 250 calls were on today. He would make my squad. The problem is, is that like I'm not quite sure if he goes and makes my squad um in on the 27th, whereas I'm 80 to 90% sure AK will. I tapped. Fine. Okay, is that the way you want to play me? Is that the way you want to play me? Give me that. I missed that, really? Deal. That's a very early. Missed time that off the camera turn. I used to be really good at greening off camera turns. I've gotten really bad at it. Because there's a little bit, of, there is a little, little more inconsistency to releases this year. So for me, it's a lot harder to green off camera turns than it was last year. Like that used to be something that I was so good at. Okay, I just need to screw it, just dunk on him. Or miss the layup, that works as well. Dude, you're gonna have to hit. Good pass. Okay, Camelo, you do you, I guess. Green. Nope, he got in front before I released it. This guy probably thinks I'm the literal worst player ever. I have shot heavy. I have shot heavies and very early's. And he broke my ankles. I got jammed on my Luca. Okay. Let's lock in now. Make your six nil down. Your six nil down. So. And he just baited the heck out of me there. And got the time dunk. Oh dear lord! I'm about to get beaten by a dude with. With this line up here, just dunk it. Just dunk it. No more. No more messing about. Melo, stop celebrating. Steal. How is it not steal? Stand. Good defense. Come on. Run to Bias Harris. Run to Bias Harris. You are a budget, Carmelo. Green. Good. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Throw. Good shot, man. Genuinely good shot. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. See how he reads this. And he reads it by leaving Mello wide open under the basket for the dunk. Let's go. Let's take our twos. Take all of our quick twos. Chase down. Should have been me. All right, we're in a really bad spot right here. Like down 13 to seven, like a three pointer is kind of needed. And he's doing a good job stopping the three. Not there, he didn't. Good shot there by Carmelo. Let's go. Okay, stop here. Stop here and score when we're back in this game. Big defense is needed. He threw the lob to nowhere. I don't know what he's doing throwing a lob though. Mello, wide up in the corner, no bullet though, and he gets a contest. <sighs> Jump. Good hand. Let's run. I don't know whether or not Mello has bullet, but I do know Mello can walk right into a wide open three there and tie the game. Okay, come on. We almost let this game get out of hand. We went 8 0 down. I was just messing about and it obviously wasn't working. Obviously, it wasn't working. This guy was too good. He got the lucky animation, but it doesn't matter. He got the double dribble animation. It's a steal. How did he. What in the name of God? Like, what was that? What was that? Like, we were in the lane. We pressed the steal button. Like, that's the exact same thing as we did. 
Except with him, a steal works. Despite his player probably not being as good as stealing the ball. Steal. There we go, finally. Oh, come on, 2K. Oh, we were so in that lane. It's open. That's a big shot there, Carmelo. Come on. We need another stop. We need another stop. No risks. No war one L winning. No risking. No risks of any kind. And he's not going to guard the corner three. And we go and green that one. Let's go. Okay, now the ball's in our court. The ball's in our court. We missed the steal, but we're good. He's going to start. He's throwing anything. He's throwing anything right now. He is throwing anything right now, and we forced a miss layup with the hack animation. Oh, he's got range. Parable release. Yeah, that's me. That's 1 million percent me. I released that one late. That's no early late glitch. That's a... I got... As someone who calls early late glitch quite a lot, I also need to call it when I don't... When it's not an early late glitch, and it's just me being ass, and that was just me being garbage. Um, He can spin, can't he? There we go. Easy dunk. Come on. Decent. Decent sh L showing there from Tobias Harris. Really is a decent showing. But yeah, I think he's going to get sold for AK. Three tokens, not that bad. If we can hit the corner twice again, we're good. But there is a almost 0% chance that AK is not my long-term starting power forward. He's going to get ridiculous defensive badges. He's AK. As all, like, if you don't know, AK is AK. He is a absolute, always a demon in 2K. Do we get a corner? Let's go. Give me that three. Give me those three tokens. Like, AK is always going to be AK. And his release is so good. Like, he doesn't even need hot zones this year. It's like, he's going to be a way better version of that. I'm Like, I'm not over, like, stating it. Like, he's not going to be as good as Diamond AK from last year. Straight up, he's not going to be as good. That dude at base 98 was good in the game until, like, February. Um, He's going to be pretty much a juiced up version of the Amethyst AK we had last year. And I love that Amethyst AK last year. Backed up the 326 tokens. Nothing sold there um, in the auction. So I, I think our DeAndre Ayton. Our DeAndre Ayton experiment may not be the smartest idea in the world, but screw it. We just bought, like, there'll be a stage where we profit on DeAndre Ayton. But yeah, let's go and take a look at the price of Harris right here. Tobias Harris, color, diamond. We got 30k-ish for him. Don't think we paid much more than that on him. And he's a steal. Like if you, like if you are buying this card for 30k, you are getting a steal. You are. You're basically getting budget mellow for 30k. Even if the market is down slightly on him, depending on how good AK is, like it's a risk. I mean, the market's obviously down right a bit down right now because new uh, news that came out. If I sold him earlier today, I would have made a bigger profit. But at the same time, I didn't know AK was coming out, and I wouldn't have sold him if AK wasn't com was coming out. But um, I still think it's a risk because he could drop. He's going to drop even lower tomorrow. I think he might creep back up in price. We just don't know what way 2K are going to go about super packs um, for the rest of this season. So yeah, that's pretty much it, lads. We're doing good. We are doing good. When this card sells, we'll be close to 400K. And obviously, once if our investments, especially like we're gonna sell most of these investments over the weekend, Duncan Robinsons. If there is like a sapphire tier for, if it's rubies for limited, Darius Miles are mostly gonna be gone the weekend. If it's sapphires for limited, Duncan Robinsons are gonna be pretty much gone. So yeah, that's pretty much it, lads. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.